Welcome back to News in Details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi presided over a meeting with the Economic Ministerial Group with the attendance of Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madboudi and Governor of the Central Bank Tare Amir. Presidential Spokesman Ambassador Bassem Radi said the meeting reviewed the main economic indicators during 2021, the situation of the trade balance and exports and imports volumes, as well as developmental cooperation with international partners. Radi added that the head of state was briefed on the sectors which increase its exports, namely chemical products, building materials, food industries, electronics, agricultural crops and ready-made garments, as well as reasonable distribution on Egyptian imports targeted to instill its local industry. The president also discussed the National Pioneers initiatives which aim at boosting local production and attract more direct foreign investment under the patronage of the central bank in coordination with the Ministry of Trade and Industry. President Tisisi, meanwhile, gave his instructions to follow up the pace of work in developmental projects and to eliminate any obstacles on the way to achieve the goals of sustainable development. The meeting also tackled the state's vision to enhance the private sector's role as partner in realizing development and reviewed the most imminent economic indicators concerning the public and private sector's activities and their share in the growth domestic product. The World Youth Forum spokesperson Sara Bedre said the South Sinai resort of Sharm el-Sheikh has almost completed preparations for the fourth edition of the World Youth Forum, which kicks off next week under the patronage of President Abdel Fattah Sisi. The spokeswoman added that holding the forum despite the COVID-19 crisis underscores youth's ability to organize the global gathering that advocates dialogue among youths. More than 500,000 youths from 196 countries have registered for the January 10th to the 13th event at its official website. Badr said the main theme of the 2022 edition of the World Youth Forum will be post-pandemic recovery as well as energy. Under directives from President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, a military cargo plane headed to South Sudan's capital, Juba, carrying medical and humanitarian aid on Monday, co-organized with the Egyptian Red Crescent. The aid supplies are part of Egyptian solidarity with South Sudanese in crises. They also underscore the deep historical ties between Egypt and South Sudan in light of Egypt's responsible role towards fellow African countries. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said the right measure